God bless you and uh, good morning uh, brothers and sisters greetings to you all in the lovely and unchangeable name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this is indeed again such a wonderful privilege to be able to share with you uh, a few verses in the Bible speaking on this wonderful subject on how amen how we as the bride of God and each member of God's body how important it is that we be more useful more profitable and uh, and how important it is to be to be part and parcel of this great economy of the almighty god before we continue let us just have a word of prayer heavenly father we want to thank you this morning lord for such a wonderful atmosphere lord such wonderful opportunity and grace that we have lord to open the pages of the bible and to read and to study and father even to share a little bit of it oh god every morning to the body of christ father i pray this morning that there be a special special presence around your word around each member that will listen lord to this little devotion father this is not a, a platform where we discuss doctrine Lord where we discuss church matters and where we try to outquote one another you have given us this platform father just to be able to encourage one another father our main purpose and our main focus is of oh God to strengthen the bride of God and to say something lord under the inspiration of thy word to be a blessing to be a blessing to your bride father lord help us this morning if there be any unbelief in our lives lord please remove them if there be any sin anything wrong oh god that we have spoken that we have a thought of that we have in action in word if we have lord jesus said anything against any person father i pray this morning forgive us lord and help us to love one another lord as you have loved us we pray this morning that you bless your word and speak to us lord once again father from thy word as we invite you lord to be the main guest father as we read some of these verses out of the scripture in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen once again my brothers and sisters i want to welcome you all we are putting together all the prayer requests and remember that we are praying for you and if you want if you want personal prayer i want to just say it again you are more than welcome to send me a little text a little note like i always says that i am ready 24/7 there is no limit there's no there's no time any time is god's time no matter what time in the night if i am awake and i can hear that beat of my phone going off and there's a message somebody in his prayer i am much much Hallelujah a willing to pray with you and to speak to the almighty God so make sure that you continue sending in those prayer requests and we believe that all things are possible to them that believe before we close and before we pray i would love to continue Hallelujah on that little verse in the book of 2 Timothy a few verses and I want to just underline a a specific part of that 
of that scripture in the verses in the second book of Timothy chapter 4. I still remember we spoke on Diemas yesterday morning and how that he loved the present world. Ons het gelees, dierbaar as die Paulus skryf, hy sê vir Timotheus dat Diemas het my verlaat, want hy die teenwoordige wereld lief kom kry. Praise the name of the Lord. There's so much that this present world can offer us. And I want to just read and I want to just go through it as quick as possible so that we are able to conclude on Thursday. And may God help us as we read these verses. Amen. That let God help us to focus completely Hallelujah on his word and make sure that wherever you are brothers and sisters that is my that is my call by the grace of God this morning may God help us to be profitable there's no time to sit back and relax and wait for somebody to do something brother and sister it is our responsibility Oh my, to go out there and be a blessing to somebody. It's time that we prove that how profitable we are. The state dear bars that ons moet bewys dat hoe wensgewend ons is. Dit is nie genoeg net om daar oor te praat nie. Maar ons moet aksie by die woord sit. Praise the name van die Here. It's time that we prove that we do something that can even show how profitable we are. And I want to just underline that how the, how Diemas how 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 Diemas uh, fall away from the word, Amen, because of the love of this present world. I want to say this. And I want to say it as God's servant. And I want to underline it, brothers and sisters. If you are not busy or profitable for the kingdom of God, I want to say this with so much respect and love, that if you don't keep yourself busy with the things of the Lord, Satan will give you enough to keep you busy. So make sure that you don't have don't make sure that you don't idle and you don't know what to do if you are not profitable for the kingdom of god the devil will be using you for his kingdom and diemas hallelujah we notice that diemas has been mentioned in the bible in the letters of an apostle paul about three times in the book of colossians chapter 4 verse 14 Paul mentioned that how our brother Diemas wanted to send greetings to the believers in the in Colossian, in the Colossian church. And we also pick up in the book of Philemon at the 24th verse. I also just want to see if I can pick it up quickly. Yes, in the Bible, in the book of Philemon, there's only one, one chapter. Uh, verse 24, it says, Marcus, Aristarchus, Aristarchus, the mass Lucas, uh, my fellow, my fellow laborers, Diemas. He says, Diemas and Lucas, my fellow laborers. So that shows to us that Diemas, when he, he backslid, he didn't just, hallelujah, uh, decided overnight. He was a fellow co worker, amen, in the kingdom of God. He was a fellow worker. He was spreading the gospel. These two, you know, uh, places, hallelujah, that Paul is mentioning. Amen, hallelujah, the name of Diemas. But what, how sad it was, hallelujah, that how the story of Diemas ended. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it's very important that we continue, hallelujah, amen, with this great economy of God and that we as the bride realize that how huge responsibility is laying upon our soldiers. 
Hallelujah. We are not all preachers. We are not all missionaries. We are not all pastors. We are not all apostles. We are not all teachers or, you know, but there is really something that you can do as a housewife, as a brother in your local church to be profitable. Oh my, to be profitable. And we notice that in the book of 2 Timothy, verse 4, 9 and 10, when Paul spoke about Diamas again, the Bible says that Diamas, hallelujah, Paul really wrote by saying unto Timothy, for Diamas has forsaken me, having loved this present world. It shows brothers and sisters, yes, having he loved this present world. Amen, hallelujah. And the Bible says in the book of John, if anyone loves this world, the love of God is not in us. And it's so important, brothers and sisters, that we only love the world, hallelujah. This present world that Demas loved enough to stop loving and serving God with Paul. Demas loved this present world so much. Can ye glue dear bars? We will continue tomorrow morning. Demas loved this present world so much that he was willing to stop loving God and stop serving God with Paul. We don't know, was it a woman that he loved? Was it a business opportunity that somebody offered him? Or did somebody came and promise him riches? Or was he craving uh, for, 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 for social acceptance? How can we say, did he crave for friendship outside young people? Hallelujah, did he have an identity, a, a, a crisis with his identity? Did he want to, to be friends with unbelievers? Young people, this is for you. Did he struggle to, to get his identity as a believer? What was the cause? What, what was the reason? What made Demas left fellowship and love this present world so much that he left Paul? He left the church. He left the fellowship of believers. And how many times did that question come to us? Sometimes when you see a brother or a sister backslide and they go back to the world and you ask yourself, was this possible? How did it happen? What was the cause of that? I want to say this morning before we pray, it is, there's no time to, to, to question and to wonder what happened. Was it, was it riches? Was it because he was craving for this world? Hallelujah. Was it, did he need some comfort? Was the lifestyle of the gospel too hard? Was it too simple? What was the reason? We can spend hours and hours here this morning, brothers and sisters, and trying to find out what was the reason that Demas left the church and that Demas left Paul and loved this present world so much that he left the fellowship of believers. I want to ask you this morning, if you have never prayed, for a fellow brother or a fellow sister. If you have never prayed for a young boy or a young girl this, this morning, it is my desire, it is my call this morning, brothers and sisters. Questions is not gonna solve the problem. Arguing is not gonna solve the problem. Hallelujah. The only thing that can help this morning if me, if you and me this morning can take time and pray and ask God, hallelujah, to help these saints and believers that love this present world so much 
dat die Heere vir hulle sal help, en hulle nuchter sal hou, om te staan, by die evangelie, God, Amen, there is our responsibility, Amen, Hallelujah, was it an immoral habit? No, what was it? It is not for us to start to argue, and to try to find out what was the reason that Demas left the church. Our responsibility this morning is, brothers and sisters, is to pray for one another that we don't love this present world, but that we hold on closer and more tighter to this gospel of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray this morning Lord, may these few words be a blessing to your bride. Lord, whenever they find the time to be able to listen to these few words, it was not me speaking, but Father, I even believe this morning that was you speaking, O God. And may this recording reach hearts and souls and lives and help us this morning to pray for one another like never before because this present world has so much to offer young and old and help us to remain focused on the kingdom of God in Jesus name Amen and Amen